Hello everyone, how's it going? <sighs> so, can you see me good? Yeah, I think you can. So, um, I'm at my parents' house. I've come back yesterday and I'm spending a couple of days here uh, because my dad has unexpectedly fallen ill and uh, I thought I should come back and give a hand. There's lots of bugs flying about and give, give them a quick hand. Uh, just to sort out the firewood and uh, feed the animals and make sure everything is jolly good. Um, so, to be honest, I'm not in the best of moods today. Um, I rushed back here, actually. I didn't think to stop off at um, where I'm staying, at Chateau de la Baminier. So I've had to wear some of my clothes that used to fit me well in my younger days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's nice to be back, nice to see my family and uh, then we're going to head back anyway to the chateau at some point but I did film yesterday uh, so I do want to show you that because I was at the convent and I had a lot to say and I don't want to say it all again because I can't remember what I said at the time so I'll show you that and I'll also show you a little bit of the local town where the convent is and then uh, we'll fast forward back to the present day because we've got some chores to do here and I want to bring you guys along and have a little chat with you as well and then we'll go and chill. Oh, but before, before we do leave, check this out. That's right. There's the donkeys, or one of them at least. So anyway, enjoy what happened yesterday and I'll see you in a bit. I'm at the convent. And I'm going to be popping out in a minute to get some lunch for the workers and for myself, of course. Uh, but I just want to give you a couple of updates before we head out. And don't worry, I'll show you the local town as well uh, as I go to get lunch. So first of all, thank you so much for everyone who uh, went to check out Bantamime, my new YouTube channel, and who, who watched the first episode. Uh, great to see all of the suggestions and the well wishes in the comment section. It's really much appreciated and uh, I do appreciate the suggestions as well because I'm going to take them on board and try to improve in the upcoming episode on Sunday evenings. So keep an eye out for that. There's about 10,000 people who watched the first episode of Bantamime so thank you so much and thanks to everyone who subscribed as well. Um, I'll do my best in upcoming videos to improve the quality as well and uh, yeah really really glad you enjoy it but don't worry this channel's not going anywhere i'm gonna make more videos here as well because um i want to show you something right now and that is properties right check this out i'm just having a look online and there's loads of new properties in the area loads of them so what i want to do in the coming days and weeks is um well show you some properties you know go and find some because i'm always interested and i think the prices are dropping so i think there's even more bargains than before i don't know why but january seems to be a good start to the year so i'm very excited to show you all of the local properties in the area um yeah because i'm still interested in buying a property but you know we'll see when that happens it's quite a complicated matter buying a property in france um but anyway it's exciting it's exciting to be able to look at these properties to be honest so i'm gonna head out now and i'll bring you guys with me we're gonna go and get some lunch quickly oh one last little update do you remember I had a banking issue like months ago. Traditional banks are a nightmare. I had to send a letter to cancel my bank account. Okay, we're in 2023. Why are we sending letters? We're wasting paper if we've got to send a letter to cancel a bank account. All you've got to do is just walk in there and say you want to cancel your bank. I don't understand why it's so complicated. Or send an email, you know? Save the paper, save the trees. <laughs> All right, let's go get some lunch. It is freezing cold by the way very bitter and windy today so here we go on our little lunch adventure uh, i'm not going to speak too much during this little voiceover i'll let you enjoy the sights of the town don't worry it's only a short little walk uh, but here we are so the convent gives onto a car park it's always a busy road uh, but they are creating a ring road around the town so the road itself would be much less busy 
and uh, I usually take the back streets uh, to go and get food because there's much less cars so it's much more pleasant for me however I did spot something quite um, well worrying that I've never seen before uh, I'm gonna show you it right now and that is yes a house has seemingly burned down. Now, uh, I did look up on the news, this happened about nine days ago on the 4th of January and nobody was hurt. Um, fortunately, the owner who was inside at the time, he managed to uh, get out of the house and was taken to the hospital and uh, they put the, put the fire out and uh, nobody was hurt like I said and no other homes was destroyed just a one sadly but there you go so that's the little story of what happened uh, in in the local town recently and a little lunch trip hope it was interesting love you lots Just gave them some cereal vitamin stuff and they absolutely love it. They actually wait to have their dinner uh, if they don't have that cereal stuff. So that's one chore done. Now let's get the wood in and uh, yeah, let's go. Next job, sort this wood out. So, here's the wood, and what I've got to do is bring up to the garage that's just outside my parents' house so they can easily bring it into the living room and put it on the log burner. However, some of it hasn't been seasoned yet. Now, I know that the bigger pieces have been, and uh, they obviously need some kindling as well for the fire. So what I'm going to do is just grab some of the bigger pieces, because they've got loads of them anyway, and uh, chop them up into smaller pieces so they can be used to start the fire. But let's do it. update I've broken a bit of a sweat and I've cut up a load of wood or split a load of wood I should say there's still loads on the pile but I think that's enough for the kindling uh, now I'm just gonna have to go and get the wheelbarrow and uh, take it all in take it all inside yeah there you go by the way that hanger there half of that is ours and half of that is the neighbors uh, but we don't really use it for much to be honest and you know what? I'm really not in the mood for, like, filming today. Just not feeling it. Do you know what I mean? But, um, yeah. I don't, know, it's a, I don't usually feel like this. I guess it's just, you know, everything that's going on. And uh, just worrying about my family a little bit as well. Bless them. You've only got one set of parents. But yeah, it is what it is and uh place is still looking pretty okay since me and my dad tidied up the leaves there's not too many that have fallen let me show you so my dad blew all of the leaves down this path there's a few more that have fallen on the ground but not too many and then you can see how clear it is uh, over here still nice and clear and of course there's the family home it's quite nice quite nice from this angle but uh it does need a bit of work inside and out <laughs> and there of course is the um what we call the gite in french uh the holiday accommodation and there's the lovely lake beautiful as ever but without the leaves on the trees it does look a little bit bare 
So I'm looking forward to springtime when all of the leaves come back. And of course you can see there in the distance, my dad's uh, favorite garden ornament, which is a British red telephone box. So I'm gonna crack on with the work that needs doing outside and then I'll catch you in a little bit back indoors. Uh, yeah, sorry that I'm not feeling those creative juices flowing yet. But um, yeah, I'll give you an update when I get back inside and uh, I'll see you there. Love you lots. Lighting the fire now. What do you think, Coco? Am I a natural? Yeah. Probably not as good as my dad does it, but well, we have flames, so we have fire. So uh, very good, yeah. I'll be tending to that and I'm gonna prepare dinner as well. Happy to see me, Coco? I'll take that as a yes. When it comes to cooking, I've got two left hands. Actually, when it comes to most things, I've got two left hands. Well, okay, the dinner's done. The fire is on and the dog seems happy. So, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. I'm gonna love you and leave you now. And I'm sorry if I was a little bit of a negative Nelly, but tomorrow is a new day. So until then, love you lots, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now. <laughs>